With technology constantly changing and updating, it kind of makes sense for people to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a new computer. However, I feel like there's one computer out there that is a good value for the average consumer, and that is a 2017 4K iMac. Now, make no mistake, this is a 7-year-old computer, so I'm going to do a quick little overview as to how it holds up in 2024. Is it worth buying? And if you are somebody who doesn't want to buy one of these, or you can't pick one up for yourself. Now, you may look at this computer and think it looks just like every other Intel iMac out there, which admittedly it kind of does. However, there's some improvements on this that the older iMacs don't have and that even the newer iMacs don't even have. Where most of those improvements are are with the port selection. So not only do you get two USB-C ports in this and an Ethernet jack, but you also get four USB ports and an SD card slot, which you do not get that on the newer M-series iMacs. That's very nice to have. However, you are missing out on a RAM upgrade hatch. So if you really want that, you're gonna have to get a 27 inch version. But eight gigabytes of RAM, I noticed, is definitely good enough for the average casual user. And then of course, how can we not forget about the display? The display on this thing is absolutely amazing. The 4K screen makes scrolling for content and just browsing the web, typing stuff up, look absolutely beautiful. And it has this thing too called P3 wide color gamut. So if you're a photo editor, basically you can edit photos on this and get like the whole broad range of colors that I get on like a very nice, you know, BenQ monitor. It also has 500 nits of peak brightness. So if you're somebody who plans to use this by a window or in a bright environment, the fact that I can get that bright is definitely good enough for those environments. And I tried to turn up the brightness on it when I was reviewing this. And holy cow, I don't know why you need something with that much brightness. It hurt my eyes, but brightness on this is definitely good enough. Now, before I move on to the next thing, I do want to mention there is a non 4K model of this, which I would say avoid it unless you're trying to like cheap out as much as possible. But just keep that in mind before you go out and buy one. Now, I want to delve a little bit into how people are going to use this computer and how it performs. And I'm going to start off with a casual user. If you're somebody who's just using this casually, you'll notice that browsing the web on this thing, doing basic word tasks and all that type of stuff is very nice on this computer, especially with that 4K display. And it also performed really well for doing things like, like gaming. Games like Minecraft, Crunk.io, all that stuff performed decently well at a playable frame rate. So if you're somebody who has kids and they're possibly using this computer, they're definitely going to appreciate that fact of it as well. But overall, if you're a casual user who plans on using it for like the stuff I mentioned, you're probably going to get about five to seven years out of this before you might start noticing support issues with things like Google Chrome, Minecraft, and all that type of stuff. Now, moving on to the professionals. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. This computer for some professional tasks like video editing performed decently well for 1080p video editing. However, I will mention this, it did just get drop support for iMovie and Final Cut Pro. So if you're somebody who uses those softwares, unfortunately you're out of luck. But if you are somebody who does use Adobe Premiere, it still supports the latest versions of that, so you might be in luck there. And then in terms of some other professional apps too, like Microsoft Office, this computer still supports the latest versions of Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. However, it is likely in about two years from now, you're gonna get drop support for those latest updates, which I think you can still use the Microsoft apps after uh, the GitDrop support, but it may be an issue down the line. So I just wanted to mention that here before you go out and buy one. And then coders. Oh gosh. Um, I'm going to admit I am not a coder, so I don't know how to really test this stuff out. But I will say if it can load like web applications well and things like Minecraft, Java, all that stuff, I would think it'd be good enough for coding. But don't hold me on that. Uh, definitely do your research before you go and buy one. And I think software support wise too, just by looking at support for applications like Visual Code Studio, it's probably going to be good enough to last you another year or two. Now we can kind of notice a theme here where this computer can only go up to Mac OS Ventura and not the latest versions like a Mac OS, like Mac OS Sonoma. And a lot of developers who make these apps will support it for a few years after that, but then they'll drop support for getting the latest updates and stuff. And I think it's understandable. It's a lot of work to support these older computers. But as an average consumer, you do need to be mindful before you go out and buy these for professional stuff. If in a few years down the line, you're gonna start noticing issues because of dropped app support. 
Now, if you are somebody who is looking at buying one of these, I try to look for one that has a solid state hard drive instead of an HDD hard drive. And the reason why I mention that is HDD hard drives are kind of slow when you first boot them up or launch applications and stuff. And with a solid state hard drive, you don't have those issues. Things load a lot more snappily and smoothly, and it performs kind of like how your phone performs or how a newer laptop performs. Now, I do understand that it is kind of hard to find these with solid state hard drives, which if that's the case for you, I recommend going on Amazon and buying like a high quality Samsung external solid state hard drive. And then you want to look up a tutorial on YouTube on how to make it bootable. So that way you can plug it into your computer and just boot off of that and use that. I currently don't have a tutorial on it, but if I ever do make one, I'll link it in the description. But there's plenty of good tutorials out there that will show you how to do that. And then for actually going out and buying the computer itself, I'd recommend checking Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes you can find these for under $400 in your local area. Now, I would recommend not getting it shipped to you. You don't want to buy from eBay and have them ship the iMac to you. You don't want to buy from Facebook Marketplace and have it get shipped to you. Just because the shipping costs for these are super expensive and because these are kind of fragile, there's a chance that the screen could break. Now, if you are somebody who doesn't have that option of buying locally, you can go find these online from different shops and stuff. I will link a shop in the description where you can go and find one of these. But basically, you do need to keep in mind if you buy it from an online shop, you are going to pay extra costs because of shipping and taxes, which can maybe add like another $50 to even $100 onto the price. But anyways, the 2017 4K iMac is still a decent computer for the casual user or the light professionals out there who want to hold on to it temporarily. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did find it helpful, be sure to leave a like. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.